All right, so today we're going to try and install a Oxford USB charging port on the 2022 XSR 900. In behind here are some connectors that I've been, well, heard about, read about. So we're going to take the headlight off and have a bit of a look and uh, see what we can do. Um, from there. So we need a 5mm Allen key hex wrench and what I'm going to do is take off these two on this side and then the one on this side so that we leave the bracket attached to the headlight. I'm sure you could just take it all off one side and pull it off but I kind of like the idea of one of these being attached so if there is some sort of adjustment in the the way it sits it's not as affected in my mind. Okay. So it also sits on this little piece here. So once you've got the bolts off it sort of sits on a little rubber grommet quite well. <clears throat> right, now we need to take this plastic plate off. There's two little uh, hex head bolts there, so we'll just undo those. And then this should just come off. And that's with a 4mm. Then that just slides down with the little prongs that were up in there, so they just come down, which exposes all the connectors. And the one that we're looking for is this one here. My understanding is that these two here are for heated grips, and this one here is for an accessory, your USB. <coughs> Just has a little clip there, push that down and take it off. So I've just checked this one here is just over 12 volts when the key is on. So that's an accessory. These two here, they don't do, they don't have any power to them at the moment. I'd assume it's probably because there's probably some switch gear or something for heated grips um, that plugs straight into that. So this thing here. This was the plug that came off of it. it. Has two little rubber plugs in the end. Now I had done a bit of research and thought that I'd found the right, exact right thing. Um, which they do look very, very, very similar. The only difference being the side the clip is on, this one's on this side, that's on the top, but you can see they're pretty much identical. So this does not fit onto there, but this, uh, no, but this one came with the metal pins that go on the inside that you splice onto your wire and attach, you know, push into the thing and a whole lot of ceiling grommets for it. So what we're going to do, see if they fit into here, take out the little rubber grommets in the end, and uh, it looks like it should all work. So my thoughts with this for the location is just up here where there's the wiring coming up, I'm thinking of just attaching it right there so it's nice and easy up over the top to access the USB port. I don't really want to attach it to the bars because there's not much room up there. Um, I think this will be sort of out of the way. I mean it's got the bright blue logo there which I'm not too happy about but it is what it is. I'm going to try and splice that connector onto the end here so take these wires off. I'll take these connectors off. I am going to leave the built-in um, fuse just because I don't know 
watt level that's fused to and the key thing is that will it all yeah it will reach down to where that tucked in down here otherwise I'd have to uh, add some extended wires to this but I think it's going to be okay so this grey one on the end is the one off the bike this is what came in a little pack uh, when we took a bit of a stab at what to order but I think I can use these pins in this along with the grommets in the back to make it watertight so it's all sealed and all good so we'll see how that goes so I just checked this little red mark well bit of red tape I put on is just for my my benefit to know which side is the positive terminal which I just um, used the voltmeter chucked it in turned the bike on chucked, a, chucked the voltmeter in and measured which uh, which side was the right uh, you know right, right polarity which was positive which was negative which I've cut off the original ends put on the little blue grommets um, first obviously and then uh, attached I'm trying to get that in focus and then attached the plugs that will then slide in through the end of there and clip into there hopefully and they just slid in perfectly and then I just pushed the blue rubber seals in so I've now got the the connectors, the wires on the inside with the pins. So now here's the real moment of truth, whether or not it'll actually, these pins that I put on the inside, whether or not they'll mate up with the ones on the bike. Okay, here we go. Okay, well that attaches. <coughs> Let's see whether or not it charges anything. And yes, it does charge because I've just plugged it into this camera that I'm using to uh, make the video and it is charging. So that works perfectly. So we've just got to route the cables up and across and up here and then up to the top of the bars and uh, yeah, all done. Let's clip that back in there, put that across and close that back up. That's what I'm sort of thinking, roughly there. Let's do these up. So I've just realised that I have run out of cable ties so I've just got to shoot down to the shops but all I'll do is wrap a cable tie through these loops and around the cable underneath it and around the top so it'll be one around there and one around the bottom to hold it onto these wires here. So that should be nice and secure. Potentially nip this off because I don't think I'll ever take it off, there's no point. Um, yeah, and then that'll just sit, the whole thing will just sit nicely just there. It should be all good. And the reason I wanted to attach in behind the headlight using that connector is so it's all nice and easily removable. I can very easily just come in and go, oh, I don't want that anymore. Unclip, boom, done. So yeah, if you found that helpful and useful, just, uh, yeah, do like and subscribe. I do occasionally tinker around with the bike, not doing a hang of a lot, but things like these. And I did install this uh, two days ago. So it's a radar detector, TPX, um, 3.0 so if you're interested in how I did that on this bike just let me know and uh, yeah I might uh, 
take it out and put it back in. Okay, see ya.